you have reached White Beach Confession. Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah. Do not call this number unless you order for Trump. God damn it. Shut up. I want you to be happy. Fuck you. Shut up. Actually, I'm not a Trump supporter. Shut up. I'm a ruin up. this fucking country. Shut up. Stop breaking my fucking ball. Shut up. Hey, what happened? Like, I don't know who the fuck this is. Why don't you come to my address and say something, motherfucker? Shut up. Stop breaking my fucking ball, fucker. Shut up. Hey, what happened? My wife is in danger now. Hey, what happened? Fucker. Hey, what happened? Fucker. Hey, what happened? Fucker. Hurry, man. That's what happened. Shut up. Fuck. I don't know who you are, man. Who is this? Why would you believe any of that? Shut up. I've been well, asleep shut since nine thirty. Shut up. Well, man, the, the gentleman—he's he, the, uh, the gentleman. Who is the fucking gentleman? Well, ma'am, ma'am, please bring it down a notch. Don't forget, you gotta get your green card from me, fuck. Shut up. Happen. All right. What can happen? What the fuck? Who the fuck are you, man? Shut up. Fuck what kind of car are you looking for, dummy? Dodge neon, green, soft bitch. We ain't got no damn Dodge neon here, man. What happened? Don't you ever call here again, man. You understand me, bitch? I'll fuck your mother. I'll fucking kill your ass, bitch. You understand me? Don't you call this motherfucker again, man. Bring your punk ass over here, man. Talking that shit. Shit. Talking that shit. Bring your ass over here. Three, two, zip. Shut up. What happened? I'll give you the address, punk. Bring your punk ass over here, man. Shut up. Bring your punk ass over here, man. Bring your punk ass here, nigga. Bring your punk ass here. Please. I'm going to beat the shit out of you and then buy me some lunch and drink off of you, bitch. What happened? Bring your bitch ass here. What happened? Bring your bitch ass here, man. I don't know what happened. Bring your bitch ass here. I just Google Earth that the trailer. Bring your bitch ass here, man. Are you in the trailer? Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Don't call me anymore. Shut up. You should put the phone down your pants to get pleasure from me calling you. Fuck you. Shut up. What happened? It's a green car, sir. It's a green car. Are you ignorant, man? I don't know what a green, green car. Green, you gotta green. tell me what kind of car you talking about, man. Green car. The, the color is green, green, man. Yeah, dummy. I know the color is green. What kind of car, dummy? Shut up. Don't come. Just... Don't call here no more, man. Don't call here no more, man. Shut up. Don't call here no more. You don't call here no more, man. All right. Yeah. What do you want? Hey, what happened? Fuck you. Yo, fuck you, motherfucker, you piece of fucking shit. Shut up. Don't ever call me again, you goddamn cunt. Shut up. Fuck you. Don't, you. you don't call me fuck a cunt. You. you don't call fuck me a cunt. You. Don't call me a cunt. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, cunt. Shut up. Oh don't God. ever call me again, you piece of fucking shit. Shut up. Can you eat your mother's asshole with that mouth? Oh, I will. I'm not allowed to swear on this line, sir. You motherfucker dick. Cunt, fucking piece of shit. Shut up. I love this country. Shut up. I do love this country. Shut up. I do love this country. Shut up. I do love this country. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Hey, everybody. All right. It's Saturday night, and we are back at it after taking a week off. Uh, so we're, we're very much back and ready to go. Give me a second here. Uh, I did, uh, however, get all of the editing done, all the individual calls pulled out of last, like, five shows. They're edited, put up on the YouTube to be scheduled for a later date, about two years from now. Uh, what else? I updated the Prank Call Nation feed for the podcast. I got the Patreon scheduled out for like another two months worth of content for offline. Uh, very productive. Very productive week. This is a week I definitely need to take off. Hi. What? The person you've reached is using a screening service from Google and will get a recording and transcript of this call. Go ahead and say your name and why you're calling. Trying to reach Emily... About Crystal and her stupidness about her storage locker. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Just to double check, who's this calling? I'm calling from the storage unit. About Crystal's overlocked unit. The unit is gluten-free.
Thanks. Connecting you now. Yeah. Hello? Hi. Uh, is Emily around? Is this... No, there's no Emily here. There's no Emily? Is this Michael? No, it's not. Oh. Okay, well, why'd you screen me like that? Because that's what I do. I don't take calls from unsolicited, unsolicited oh, people. Fuck oh, fuck yeah. Fuck that. Did you suck that guy's dick? Who are you? Um, my name is Dwight, and who is that in the background? That's a good question. Who is that? I, that's what I'm asking you. I don't why, know. It's why is he here. asking me if I gave mouth pleasure to a man? Well, I don't even know who you guys are. I'm calling alone, from the storage you... unit about about Crystal's overlocked unit. It's gluten free. I I don't know anything about that. There's no Emily here. Okay, but okay. So yep. what? Yep. She's not going to come down and pay for this, or what? We got a bunch of locks out here. I don't know who you're talking about. You've got the wrong number. But oh, I don't even okay, know where you let got me talk to Emily, Let me talk to Emily then. There's no Emily here. Fuck okay. yeah. Fuck that. Did you suck what, that who, guy's dick? There he is again. Who is that? Hello. Hi, trying to reach Jesse. Who's calling? Uh, this is Dwight. And I'm calling about your dog. Okay. Uh, recent, the, recently it's been come, carrier. huh? Guess the little rat carrier. I, I'm not sure what yeah. breed it is. Okay. Uh, but it keeps, it keeps coming over and, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how to put this, uh, sensitively. It keeps having relations with my dog. Okay. <laughs> and it's a pure breed and I can't have that because it's, it's a money source. It's a money revenue source for me. And. So I, d I don't know what we have to do, but I, I needed to to stay away because it's 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 uh, in, uh, unconsensually having having intercourse with my dog. Yeah. Okay. So. Um. All, all right. Well, he's getting through the fence, and I'm trying to find the spots where he's doing it. Yeah, because I have I, a two acre fence yard. So, um. Okay. Uh, I I will address the issue is he there now or yeah it's 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 here now and i i like i'm this, sitting I, on my front porch have been for two hours so i don't know why he's even showing up yeah i'm not I, but okay. like if it keeps coming over here i'm gonna i'm gonna kick it yeah that would be a felony in the state of arkansas a fel not in arkansas I'll let in you Ar know. Huh? i'll let you know i was the elected constable out here for this area for 10 years yeah, well, I mean, you need more fiber in your diet. Yeah. I don't understand why you're telling uh, me about you being constipated. Constable. Yeah. Elected law enforcement fiber. for this area. I use CMOS, CMOS tablets. But what's going on? Like this dog over here, like I said, if, if she ends up getting, you know, my dog ends up getting pregnant, and then I got these little bastard mixed things, then uh, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put your dog in a slingshot and just shoot it right the fuck back over to you. Well, okay, now you're committing a harassing communication. No, no, see, this is this is gonna be like an acme like an acme situation, like Roadrunner shit. I'm gonna rifle rifle it right the fuck back over, and then you're gonna be paying some dog child support, is what I'm gonna tell you. Raise these little retarded dogs. You understand me, boy? I don't know if you, you hear me clearly. I don't know what you, you hear me. Clearly? I do. I don't know what your money situation is like, but if you you feel like paying for dog abortions, then just keep it up. Fix the fence, man. Dude, I've got your number. You call me again. Uh -huh. You cause an issue. Yeah. I will press charges. You're on a recorded line. I'll let you know. I have a digital app that records. Yeah. So very nice. Every 12 year old that goes on the <laughs> Google play store has one. Oh, well, I'm glad, you know, uh, we're on the same page. All right. We're on the same page then? You're going to pay for the abortion. I'll pay for the attorney that'll sue your ass. Oh, oh, you oh, oh now we're, okay, now we're threatening litigation. Litigation about what? Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm calling with uh, the corporate office of Larry's Pizza. From North Little Rock. Uh huh. And I was told to call and reach out to you regarding a situation that you had when you ordered with us last. Okay. 
and what can I help you with? Uh, well, no, I just, uh, so where are you calling from? Uh, from Larry's Pizza. Okay. Well, uh, I, I think they have that resolved. I mean, that's been a while back. It's been a while back. Right here, we still have an open ticket. They said that uh, this was a new complaint. So did you have another one, or is this in regards to the last one? No, it must be in regards to the last one. Okay. Um, so do you want to let me, I mean, it just says open ticket, and it's been open for quite a while here, and I didn't know if it was an error or if it was still something that needed to be resolved. Who, who are you? Uh, my name is Dwight, and I do the I do the customer service for the corporate office here at Larry's Pizza. Oh, okay. Well, I just got to really sick. Um, I, I ate there, and then the next day I was just, I mean, it was terrible. Okay. It, and yep. this might be due to our hiring practices. Uh, uh -huh. we, we, we hire because we get um, tax breaks and kickbacks when we hire ex-criminals out of the penal system when they come out to give them a second chance. Not a lot of them adhere to our hand-washing policies. Um, and also a lot of them don't realize that they're actually out. They've been institutionalized. And they continue to cook as if they were still on the inside. Are you kidding me? No, I, I, I wish I was. Um, when they spend so much time inside of a, uh, a confinement, as it is, and then guards tell them what, what they can do, when they can do it, that type of thing, um, it becomes, uh, you know, second nature. <laughs> No, ma'am. I, I, I wish I wish it were. Um, it's very hard to get people to wear gloves right now. Uh, you know, we instruct them, you know, when the gloves come off, the hands get washed before new gloves go on. And they just they just don't understand that. Wow. Um, so so this is the only type of people you, you're able to hire? Well, we hire it for the tax breaks. We hire uh, felons, felons mostly because people with misdemeanors don't have a real big issue getting a job. It's when you have that felony and we do the background checks, that's when people have a rough time. And then it just becomes a, um, an ever revolving door of, you know, they, they try to get a job. They can't get a job. They resort to street life. They're selling drugs. They, they're handling guns. So we try to give them, uh, a, a, another way. Oh my goodness. Well, you know what? Uh, that, that just, uh, makes me want to eat at home from now on. Well, no, I, uh, I'm, I'm just letting you know, if you experience any type of, uh, d d uh, did you, were you throwing up, diarrhea, anything like that from uh, this occasion? Well, let me tell you, um, I, I had food poisoning, definitely. Okay, that's, uh, that's usually a sign of fecal matter in the food. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 it was bad. Okay, and how long, really how long did this last for? Uh, all day, uh, 24 hours. It was a 24 hour thing. Um, I had diarrhea, uh, I had, uh, nausea, a stomach ache. I was dizzy. You're dizzy? Okay. I could barely walk from one room to the other. Okay. Uh, I had muscle aches. I mean, it, it was a classic, uh, food poisoning. Okay. And have you had food poisoning with us before? Or is this the first time? No. I've never had it in my life. Okay. Ever. And I'm just marking this down. This is this is Heather, correct? I should have confirmed this in the beginning. No, this is this is K K A Y. Oh, K A Y. I'm sorry. Okay. Yes. All right. Let's see here. All right. And you said you were throwing up. You were. It was 24 hours. You were sick. Uh, you had right. aches. Um, and at what point did you consider taking a pregnancy test? Uh, no, I never did. I okay. mean. I, that, that's impossible. Okay, I'm just, I'm just trying, I'm just spitballing, trying to throw out, you know, there could be reasons uh, other than food. Uh, but you said, of course, you know, classic signs of food poisoning. Um, and are you still experiencing these symptoms, or have they subsided? Oh, I, I would have been gone by now if I still would, you know, no. Okay. Um, what we would like to do, did you have any type of medical bills or anything like that associated with this? Did you have to go to the doctor's urgent care? Well, let me tell you what, what happened. Okay. 
so I'm a, I'm a nurse. Right. And uh, that next day, I was going to get a premium day. I mean, and it's all documented. It's it's with my employer. They were going to pay me four hundred and fifty dollars on top mm-hmm. of my salary because they were short, and that's what they do. And, but I wasn't able to go. I hated to call in. I was going to make like eight hundred dollars that day. Oh, okay. Um, and see, and then, it, and then it knocked me out for that next Monday, I believe. Okay. That next, yeah, that Monday. Because, see, if you call in sick. The day before um, or day after type situation? Well, no, if you call in sick, your your premium pay goes up. Fuck yeah. Day. Fuck that. Did you suck that guy's dick? Pardon? Who is that? What? Who is that? What do you mean, who is that? I heard a gentleman talk about um, fellatio services. And no. a- he asked if I if I performed it. And I... No. Okay. I mean, I, I definitely heard something. Well, but... I don't know what you heard, but... Okay. No, I'm but just saying. This is, a, this is a weird call. It definitely is. I, I'm right there with you on that. Let me ask you, um, yeah. because we can get you compensated for the time that you were missing. And I, I've, you have the documented, of course, uh, the wages uh, that you were promised. Um, if you're able to provide us a uh, stool sample so we can send it out to be tested. And what we'll do is we'll confirm with our doctors and then we'll go ahead and cut you a check. Of course, we will need no, the documentation, uh, uh, you know, saying exactly what you were promised for those days that you were going to be missing. No, uh, I can't do that because it's over now. Well, they can still trace. So, they can still detect trace amounts. How long ago was this? No, this is this has been a few weeks back. Yeah, no, no, they can still detect that. Nah, I don't know. So where it's would up to I have twenty. To it's, up, to? it's up to twenty. It's up to twenty-one days. So wh- where would I have to take it to? Uh, if you could uh, put it into a receptacle, uh, I, if you have a box, a Ziploc bag or something like that laying around and bring it to us. Where are you located? And then, and then we'll send it out. Uh, I mean, that, that'll that be fine with us. Where are you located? Uh, do you do you want the corporate office or would it be better for you to go to the local, down to Larry's? I can go down to Larry's. Okay. And when can we expect that? Uh, soon. Okay, I mean, and do you have your, do you have, do you have a, t- uh, I can give you an employee what? ID number. I can't, unfortunately, give you uh, my last name. It's against company policy. Uh huh. I can give you a, an employee ID number, though. Okay, go ahead. All right, it is S and Sam, the number three. Or I'm sorry, it's S and Sam. P is in Paul, the number three. R is in Randy. M is in Michael. One one two one. Uh huh. And this says you're calling from Los Angeles, California. Uh, correct. Well, it's routed through a call center. And the call center, is, call is, center? Is, in, is in California. What call center would that be? I, I, it's a call center that we contract out to. We use a voice. Uh-huh. O- we use a voice over internet protocol. Well, I'm that's turning you into them. the. Uh, I'm turning you into the the police department and our attorney general uh, office. Because you got okay. sick from our pizza, I think that's a little extreme. And no, because of your the uh, the language that you have used with me. What language? I actually had you on speaker, I and fe- my eleven year old fe- granddaughter fecal? was sitting here listening to you talk that way, and I don't appreciate that. Oh. Fuck yeah! Fuck that! Fuck yeah! Did you suck that, that guy's dick? Did you suck that guy's dick? That's my supervisor. And who? What is his name? His name's Cross. How do you spell it? C R O S S. Don't call me again. Hey, don't tell I'm me. I'm going to report don't, your number. Don't, don't don't tell me what to do. Yeah. Yes, I will. No, don't tell me what to and do. Stay off of my phone. No. Don't you call me again. I'm going to call you. I'm going to call the police I'm gonna right call, now. I'm going to call you a hard B word here in a second. Do you know what a C word I'm a, is? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm going to call the police right do now. Do you know what the C? You. Do you know what the C word is? Oh yeah, she's reporting the. <laughs> Well, worked her ass over. Boy, her mono struck out of the dark. <laughs> Woo! 
Call her again now. We're not gonna call her again. She asked. She asked us not to call. So we're not gonna call yeah, her. Again. We're not gonna. Call. grandchild. We don't want to subject her child too much air mono yet. <laughs> well, I, she was the one who put it on speakerphone, knowing that there was a kid in the room. I know. She's so silly. You don't do that in a business call. Let your children listen. Good grief. <laughs> You could clearly hear she was on speakerphone there at the beginning, too. Hi, this is Carrie. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave me a message, I'll get right back to you. Thanks so much. Bye. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Carrie, we're calling from over here. Listen, we're with the Church of the Machine Christ, and we're trying to poach members from Valley Chapel. We need you to just leave that church and bring all of your money, bring all of your dozens of dollars over to us. We won't take as much as they do. Uh, we're, we're doing an introductory offer to the church. Instead of tithing 10%, we're going we're gonna to take five. So we're going to cut you a deal. You come on down, and for, for one full year, you only have to tithe 5%. After that point, we're going to go up by 1% each year. So, you, I mean, you'll be with us for five years before you ever reach that 10%. So come on down, all right? I'll talk to you later, baby. And uh, where's something slutty at the church? Hello? Hi, is is Alicia, Alicia there? Hello, Alicia? Yeah, what, yeah. Can, yeah, I, talk, yeah, can I talk? up? Can I talk to her? Oh, well, who are you? Uh, my name is Dwight. I'm calling from the church. What church? The Church of the Machine. The Church of the Machine? Yeah, we're trying to, we're trying to poach people from Valley Chapel. <laughs> we're trying to we're trying to poach parishioners from them. We gotta repopulate our staff. <laughs> Who is this? That's My name great. is Dwight, and I'm from the church. We're from the Church of the Machine, and we wanted to let everybody know that Machine Christ rusted for your sins. Very confused. Uh, look, hey, let me talk to that loudmouth bitch. I want her in my church. Hello. Who is it? It's Dwight. I want to talk to the loudmouth bitch. I need that in my church. Oh, I'll break your face, dude. Hey, wait a minute. Is this Dan? Yeah, you know who I am. Who's this? Hey, Dan. Let me talk to. Let me talk to that. Let me talk to that harlot. Who's this? It's Dwight from the Church of the Machine. Is somebody I think you're funny saying is trying to push the Green Valley Chapel? Anyway, I don't know. Who are you? Are you are you deaf, dumb, or stupid? I don't know. Do you want to die today or die tomorrow? You yeah, that's not very down. Christian of you, sir, and I like that about you. You should come to our church. <laughs> I know it is. Listen, joke, no, we have we, hey, we, later, we have fist fights come on the me, altar. Come buy me a drink. Come, come buy me a drink. I'll suck your dick. Okay, so wait a minute. They, they listed that as her number. Maybe they inverted it. Maybe this is her number. Let's call that one. Yeah. Wait a minute. Why you are you? Why are you? Why are you answering both phones? Why are you answering both? Stop that. You want to die today, then? <laughs> I do. I do. I do. Come on. Come, come on, homeboy. <laughs> Yeah, you ever shown another right. man? You ever show another man your genitals before? That's my own business. No, you, know. you want to come over? You want to come over here and show them to me, big boy? I'll, I'll let you. I'll oh, let you. I'll let you know. We put so, you in our breeding program. So who? So who's uh? Who's who's this? Who's behind this? Come Dwight. On, my name is Dwight. I'm with the Church Thanks, of the Machine. It's uh, it's one of them prank calling things. I don't I, know. I'm not the prank yeah, call. I'm not a prank call. What are you talking about? You think I'm a robot or something? No, you're not a robot, but you're not you're not gonna walk in here and look me in the eye. So where 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 are, are you at right? Where are you at right now? Gators Pub. Skeeters? Did you say Skeeters or what? I couldn't hear. Uh, uh, right down in North Smithfield. Come on down, buddy. Okay. Did you call him right about the right time? He's just starting to get sloppy now. <laughs> we all know that, but it's a way you talk about it. It's like, is this the same guy that just threatened to kill me? 
Talking about, like, you should talk about my wife with respect. That's the same one, the parishioner, <laughs> potential parishioner. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Um, is there a lot, is there a singing going on tonight down there? Um, there is not. There's not? Okay. No. Um, is it too late to get food? No, it's not. Okay, um, we're trying to get a little bit of food together because we have a bunch of like-minded men. We got a hotel down the way, and uh, they're in the other room, and we're, we're having a brainstorming session. We're planning on running for government position. Um, what do you What do you suggest for a large group of people? We have six people here, and we're large fellas. I'm oh, sorry, one more time? We're large fellas, six of us, and we're, I'm wondering what you recommend to feed us all to make us full. Um, we can do 20 wings. We have a bunch of different sauce choices, Shit. or we could do like a large pizza. Um, those are what I would suggest, either the 20 wings or a large pizza. Okay. Um, so, oh, a large, we might be able to do all of that. How long does it generally take if we get them all? Um, it normally takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Oh, I'm sorry. They're being loud. Hang on. Oh, okay. I had to move to the other room. Um, all right. So let me see here. And how many toppings are on that pizza? Um, you can do as many toppings as you want. Okay, but too many means they don't cook right, correct? Yeah. Okay, because it'll be soggy. Um, let me go ahead and get uh, a large pineapple and pepperoni. Do you have pineapple? I don't think we do. I can check for you, though. Uh, no, no, it's okay. Don't. Do, it's all right. Uh, we'll do pepperoni and... Um, do you have green or black olives? Um, we have black olives. All right, but that's fine. Pepperoni and black olives. And the wings, are they boneless or bone-in? You can do boneless or bone-in. Uh, let's do boneless. Boneless. So, yeah, the adult chicken chicken nuggies. Uh, what sauces do you have? Um, we have mild hot sauce, mango habanero, sweet Thai chili, um, honey hot, honey hot barbecue. Okay, hang on. Let, let me go ask him. Guys, do you want mango or hot? Or just regular barbecue? I don't want guys. All right, they're just they're they're not answering. I'm gonna make it. Let's go with barbecue. Barbecue? Yeah. How many of those did you want? Uh, let me do two orders of twenty, so forty. Two orders of twenty? Yeah. They love pizza and wings. Wings, hot wings are the are Mother Nature's natural lubricant. What? You know how you eat hot wings? It makes you salivate. That it's Mother Nature's natural natural lubricant. They've been eating clean for two weeks. They've been preparing for this. Anything else? No, that's gonna do it. Okay, so we have the large pizza with black olives and pepperoni, um, and then the two orders of the 20 boneless barbecue wings. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to hang on hold and I'm going to give you a number for all that. Okay. Okay, and how long? Like 20 minutes. Can I have your name? Yeah, it's Dwight. Mike? Yeah, Mike. Okay, so yeah, I'll be ready in about 20 minutes. They call me the bone roller coaster. What? They call me the bone coaster. The, the bone coaster. Okay, do you want me to put this order through? Uh, yeah, but I'm gonna come down and order in person because I gotta take up a collection. I gotta go through these people's pockets. 
Here, wait, give me one second. Oh, oh. Welcome to the come. Oh. 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 Hi, welcome back. Christian, do you want me to put this order through? Uh, let, let, let me ask him. Guys, are we good with the 40 wings and the pizza? I got the pepperoni, I got the black olives, I got barbecue on 40 of the wings. Uh, are, you, are you good with that? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure if they're answering to me or if they're answering to each other. Good morning, Julia. Why is he introducing himself? Sorry. There's just so much going on right now. I don't know if this is like a serious call. So do you want to order all of that food? I'm sorry. I had to close. I had to close the door. They were being obnoxious. They were being. They were being obnoxious. Um, food. Yeah. Uh, hey, I just. It's either a yes or a no. I can't put all this food if you're not going to pick it up and pay for it. Oh, okay. Uh, hey. yeah. Yeah. I, I just broke away from the orgy, and I just want to know if this stuff is vegan or not. I don't know if it's vegan Okay, or I'm going to hang up now. This phone call is inappropriate. And why why are done. you still wearing the condom? All right. Oh, very dramatic ending there. I like a call. That was a vegan, that was a vegan <laughs> stuff. She didn't like that. She, there wasn't she nothing about like the it. condom. She was like, vegan? No. Nothing I mean, about the orgy. It was a vegan that offended her. Fucking vegan. Got him. So... Your 73 Patreons for the month of May are as follows. Of course, Axpa, the guy behind the show machine, he does a lot around here. So he counts as, a, as an honorary member of the Patreon. We have Jerry Seinfeld, Alexander Kronk, Anti-Citizens Telephone Time, Audi Love, The Labor for Life, uh, let's see here, Ben Jammin, Big Boy Farts, Brad Claus, Brendan, Brown Magic, Cactus, Carlos Trin, uh, we have Crispy808, who uh, has been crocheting little penises, little dicks, and you're going to be sending them to me, and I'm going to be sending them out to people. Uh, we also have David Jarvis, Dharma Wheelies, Dragon Mirror, he does fantastic shows at 7 p.m. Eastern Time on Fridays, so tune in to him. We have Dribbly Bob, Dwight's Cocksock, Electro Pirate, Eric Wright, E S S L O one, Ethan, fucking Slayer sixty nine, Garbo, George Wadsworth, Glenn Fielding, Godrilla. I about fucked that up. I about choked on my own fucking dry ass mouth. Uh, Gold Rust, Hamilton Water Baby, High Fang, Hobo Lobo, Horse. Horse is the newest member. Horse, uh, Horse Machine Ranch Person, I'll Fix Your Pipes, James Harrington, Jeff Golden, Jen F. John T. Fisherman, JT, Jules, Just Work Man, Carter Pillar, Lickety Split, Little or, uh, Lil Uzi Vert, I haven't seen him in a minute, Liz B, Lonesome, Luis Minjinda, I always fuck your name up, dude, I'm sorry, Luke Jones, Mad Hatta, Maggie, going to the next page, Mark Window, I haven't seen Mark in here yet tonight, you know, that Australian uh, time zone difference, Matthew Anderson, Max Power, Milk Box, Mr. Pickles, Mystery Science Theater 3 Clay, P.S., Parkman, Phone Losers of America, and thanks to Parkman again for uh, the last show uh, sharing his uh, his meetups that he had, private meetups with Carlito uh, before he passed away. We also have Radical, Royce, Ryan Scheffler, Snappy Bakes, Some Dude, Sonam, Steve Blinch, the Prime Minister of Australia, probably hangs out with Mark Window. Vandershire, Vitas Vitas, Wasted Memory, Whiskey Pete, Xander Fett, and You Bastard Fuck. And those are your 73 Patreons for the month of uh, May. If you would like to be a Patreon and get your Patreon shoutouts and other perks, or, you know, off-air content, you can do that over at patreon.com forward slash DwightPCN. Uh, let's see here. I'm sure uh, Nightbot reminds you several times throughout the night. Uh, so now I can close that tab and I fulfilled my monthly obligation to give you your shout outs. Also, your names scroll in the beginning of every uh, live show, edited live show video. And uh, they appear here as also, also, like right here. That's Ryan Shuffler right there. There's Snappy Bakes right there. Right there. Look at that. I can't read that one. Oh, it's some dude up there. 
You bastard fuck is right there. Oh, my finger's gonna disappear, but he's he's up there. You see it. How can I help you? Hi, how are you? I'm good. I'm in my room, and there's a problem with the toilet. What room are you in? I'm I. You know, that's a good question. I'm gonna be honest with you. I. I, I partook in a lot of wine tonight. I went to a wine tasting. Wait, it, is this DJ? No, <laughs> I went to, there was a art show. And they had open wine. If you bought a piece, you got unlimited wine. So I bought the cheapest piece they had. And, and I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm a little white girl wasted, man. I had a lot of wine. I don't even tell you what type. Of, but that's neither here nor there. I'm trying the toilet in my room, when I flush it, it, the water comes up and out. Because someone on TikTok said, if you spill something on your bed sheets, you could put them in the toilet and, and uh, you flush it and it'll wash the stain out like a washing machine in a pinch. And now it's what stuck. The hell? It's fucking stuck in there. And when I use the toilet, it, water comes out. And and I have water on the floor, my socks are wet. Look, man, uh, best thing I can do for you is give you a plunger to see if you can fix it. But, but the sheets you are and in, I both the know sheets are that's in not there. a normal thing no, that see, anybody's see, supposed see, to look, be look, doing. See, you flush the toilet and the water comes out instead of going down. That's the problem. That's the problem. But you said there's a sheet in there. Yeah, that from, you the, guys... from the bed. Yeah, why Why was the sheet in the toilet, though? The like, TikTok said they were biodegradable. And so they say if you put them in there, it won't, it'll go down. I don't think that was a smart choice. Yeah, but you, <laughs> don't, dudes, you but. Know, I don't think you're understanding. So I push the plunger down, and, and they see it starts to flush, but then the water comes out because it's stuck. And up. And because you, cause you have to get the sheet out of there. Yeah, but that's the problem. The sheet needs to go out because I need to put a sheet in. You know what I say? I got bowel problems. When I get drinking, then the end, the, I got to move it, like, urgently. Gosh, man. Do you, you don't have a plunger around you? A I can just get you a plunger. But if I plunge, then the sheets are going to go in further. Uh, they're they're going to come out. How? Because you're, you're plunging it, you know? It, but it pushes it down. It instead of it pushes it's, it. You, it down. usually pushes it out. I thought not pushes it no, in. No, no. You ever seen a like a tur like if you like a tur you see a toilet paper cone, you never see the turd return. That's what I'm saying. And like I try to pull the sheet out. I like I try. It is stuck. I pulled. Okay. And I pulled, and. And, t and let me tell you, TikTok is a motherfucking liar, and that's why it should be banned off off of this planet. They should delete System 32 on TikTok. I got you, man. Um, two things I can just let you know: we do have a bathroom uh, yeah. around the first and second floor that you can I, use, especially I, if I can't fix. I know who I you can build. That. I know who you can build. I watched the guy. His on on TikTok. His name is Hyphonix. And he's the one that said this was possible. And he's a motherfucking liar, and we should send him the bill. That's not what my manager is going to be saying. Man. What is the manager going if to say? If you tell her this story specifically, she's going to say, you guys were not smart, and why would you guys listen to TikTok? But why would you guys allow TikTok to be played in your establishment? That's what I would say to her. That's, that's, that's not something hotel but Why is the Wi-Fi for, access to TikTok in here? You should have a block on it for stupid people. <laughs> hey, you took the words right out of my mouth. But again, I just work here. I don't really uh, manage or have any rules here. I'm See, just a guy. I just don't understand. That. See, I, I flush it. And uh, the gotcha. water, there's so, water on the floor. Don't, don't make it worse, man. I'm going to put a note, and I'm going to let whoever knows to take care of it in the morning. Yeah. But the best thing I can do for you guys specifically, you're going to have to use the bathrooms on the first uh, floor or right. the second floor. I, I mean, I guess I'll just use but it as You got to tell me what room number you're in. Where do I find it? Hang on. I just sit down. Now I got to use the toilet as is. Uh, uh, oh, God. Oh, this is rancid. Oh, that's red wine. 
egg salad right there. Uh, uh, where do I find the room number? Because I need, I, you're going to have to send engineering or something up here. You step out of your room and oh. it's literally <laughs> in front of your room. In the front of, uh, hang on, let me pinch this off. I don't see anything outside the bathroom. I don't see any numbers. You gotta step out of the front room, my guy. The front room. Like the, the whole, the room itself. The whole, the, like, like in a hallway? Yeah. It's literally in front of the front door in the hallway. Okay, hang on. Uh, yeah. I, I just hope there's nobody out there. I got my pants around my ankles. Hang on. It's just a, it's just a quick glance. Oh, shit. Oh. Hi, how are you, ma'am? How can I help you? Uh, well, I'm heading in right now. I have a room. Uh, but I can't seem to find uh, my way there. What, what's the address so I can punch it into my GPS? You have a reservation or something? Yeah, I already have a room booked. I'm just trying to get there. Um, so we're currently all booked up. Yeah, I have a room. It's already reserved and everything. I'm just trying to get there to my room. Did you already check in? Did somebody you break? Hello? Hello? Yes, Hello? Did somebody give you a key to your room? Nobody gave me a key, ma'am. This is the front desk of a hotel. Yes, that's that's what I'm saying. You said you had a reservation. My thing is we don't have any rooms. So the thing is, do you did you get a key? Did you already check in is what I was asking. Well, why would I check in when I'm working the front desk? Sir, bye. Whoa, uh, Skinny Mexican just gifted five subs. Uh, Royce was gifted a membership. Patrick T. No Name Lisa. Uh, Sheikh. Sh uh, Sheikh. And, uh, and J2H. Wow, that's, that's, that's amazing. Actually, I think you're the first one to gift subs to anybody else. I think that, I believe that's a first for this channel. Uh, that's an absolute, that's, as Tyler would say, you know, there's a wall here of White Claw. He would smash it. And you say it's an absolute banger, is what he would say. Hello. Hi, hello. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Listen, I I have a problem. I, okay, I'm putting in the GPS right now. And so you say one one four. One one three oh, two. Oh oh oh! Shit! There's the turn. Oh shit! crash my car okay call oh. to the police then i'm sorry for that no you made me crash why would you tell me that why would you oh my god hello yep you have to come pick me up i crashed my car okay come no, you have to come come help me, Mother Chod. to Mother Chod? Yeah, Mother Chod, Ben Chod, Cha Cha Chod, you. Teri ma ka bo chuda kone re tu? No, Teri ma ki chut. Mega ko tere sale? No, I will get Sanjay. Go fuck you, Mother. Fuck off yourself. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Did you fuck suck that. that guy's dick? Did you suck that guy's dick? Hi, you hung up, Teri ma ki chut. Abe Kaunir Salivo Sanjay Attack Sanjay Attack Oh 
Boys to K. No, boys to K. You stupid monkey. Come and lick my dick. No, you don't have dick. You have, you have small lund. You don't teach. You don't teach your pop how to fuck. You you see my dick? No. Have you seen my dick? No. You, you fuck off, idiot. You don't teach your pop how to fuck. Hey, boys, decay, Mara Chod. You listen, you stupid monkey. Hello. What about my phone number, you Terry Maki Chut? Go and fuck your mother. Go and fuck your sister. No, I will, fuck, I will fuck your sister. I will fuck your... Hey, Bob's telling. Uh, uh, I'm calling you back to my car. I'm sorry? Uh, my car. Uh, it got towed. You... What's wrong with the vehicle? It got towed. You, you tow my car? Oh, you're saying it got towed. What, yeah. what kind of car? When was it towed? Uh, t 25 minutes ago. That was not us. They took it. The, the guy at 7 Eleven say, uh, Here, car, th these people took it. They watch our fucking lot. Okay. And, and who did he say it was? Uh, Bob's doing. Yeah. Unfortunately, we didn't take your vehicle. Oh, it's a um, uh, you Honda, contact the local Honda, police. Honda district. Civic. You can contact the local police. Where the fuck is my car? Where, where is it, you bitch? You crazy bitch. Where is my car? Suck my big fat penis, you fucking cunt. Bye. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Well, no. Woo. She's lively. She's something. Hey, Bob, tell me. Hey. You're a bitch. You don't talk to me like that. I go to church. Oh, so you call me a bitch and everything else, and I can't tell you to suck my big fat cock, you fucking cunt. You are I can. I'm you're, pretty sure I can. You're you a fat my dick, bitch. You big fat cunt. You're a fat bitch. <laughs> Contact the police and give them your license You stole number. my car, you and you're being it. a Stop bitch. Stop calling me after I gave you our answer. Fuck you. Suck my dick. Fuck you. Suck my dick. Welcome, Marcus. Hey, how's it going? Um, it's Dwight. Um, I'm supposed to start training uh, back of the house tomorrow. Uh, uh -huh. I'm supposed to come in, but um, I'm supposed to be in early. Um, I'm not going to be able to make it. I had way too much to drink tonight. I went to Quinceanera, and um, so I'm going to have to call off for tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, it's my first day tomorrow. They're they're just. I'm thinking Monday will probably be better. Yeah, that now sound good. Uh. What what's that now? It doesn't sound too well. You just started and you're calling off already. Yeah, well, I haven't started yet. I mean, tomorrow's the first day, but I I had a hard relapse. Yeah, for the first day you call off and I gonna call you back. Yeah, but I mean, they should understand it's an it's an illness, and I relapsed, and so I think they should be good moving into Monday. I mean, it's part of the American Disabilities Act. Okay, I just um yeah, I'll let alone. You know, um, ask them if I could come in at like two o'clock on Monday. I can't ask them. You'll just have to come in and do it. Okay, just tell them I'll be in at two on Monday. Then, if they can't ask them. Okay. So, and what's and what's your, what's your name there, for, uh, Pancake Ass? That I'm gonna be working with. Oh, she's hung up. Damn it. She even get to hear Pancake Ass. Hello. Hello. Yes. I'm calling about the. You have a wood. Yeah, the like stop. I cut on a tree like a couple of days ago. Okay. But the stump is, is still there. The stump is there. Yeah. Is it dry? Is it dry wood or is it wet? Uh it's uh, it's not dead yet. It's still uh wet because of uh, I just took down the tree uh, a couple of days ago. Okay, and and it, like is it wet, wet or a little wet? What do you mean wet, wet? Uh, well, uh, like no, is it so? Like is it is it soaking? Is it pouring out? Oh no, no, it's not. Okay, so dry, dry or wet, wet? 
when you mean uh, dry, dry, like uh, it's not soaking, uh, anything like that. It's okay. just there, I, you know. I want to take it. I want to take it, okay? But um, uh, is, is the stump loose or is it in the ground still? It's still standing. Okay. I need you to go outside. You have a hair dryer? Yeah. I need you to go outside, get an extension cord, and I need you to dry the wood before I come get it. What do you mean dry the wood? It's not wet. That's take, what I'm saying. Take a hair dryer outside and dry the wood. You want it all to to dry the wood? Ah, uh, nah. There's few people calling. See, so uh, I'm not going to do that. Okay. So. Will you go outside and blow okay. on the wood to make it dry? You, can you imagine how long the thing will take? No, I don't know how long it would take. But you should try. You no, should go I'm, outside. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not going to do that for you. Let oh, me just hey. put it that way. Will, right? you go, will you go outside? I'll okay. give you $10 if you go outside and put your mouth on the wood. $10 is nothing to me, all right? Go put your mouth on even the wood. A thousand, even $1,000 is nothing to oh, me. Oh, look okay? at you and your highfalutin life. Why yeah. don't you go put your so, mouth Hey, go put your mouth on the wood. You know what? Fuck you and get off the phone, you fucking dumb shit. I'm not going to do that for you. Hey, all listen. Right? The House of Wonders commands you because he just gifted five more memberships. You got to go put your you. mouth on the you wood. You know what? You offering $10, boy. You come and take it out and I gave you 100 bucks. okay? Tyler is going to bring his wrench. You know what? There's other people calling, okay? Goodbye. You're an asshole. Hello? Good afternoon. Wendy speaking. How may I help you? Hi, Wendy. I'm calling about the child's bike. I'm sorry. Someone already took it, but thank you. Oh, then why is the ad still up, you motherfucker? Wow. Yeah, that's okay. Someone donated that to a needy child, and I tell you what, my daughter-in-law has got autism and my mother-in-law is dying of lung cancer well, good for I you. Wish you well sir goodbye why is that my problem and now i gotta do another call because she brought in autism and cancer i don't understand why that's my issue i can't talk shit to a woman because her family has like her extended family has problems i don't understand hello hi i'm calling about the uh f-150 doors yeah. Uh, are they still available? Yeah, actually, they are, I think. I haven't been to the boneyard here in about a week or so, but... Uh, uh, the, the yeah. Bo the boneyard? The boatyard, where, where my uh, uh, storage is. Okay. Uh, and this is... Are you, uh, are you... Is this Parish? No. Oh, okay. No, I, this is Jimmy. It's who? Jimmy. Yay, Jimmy! All right, cool. Uh, so yeah, I want to come. I want to come get the doors. Okay, they're right outside of the harbor. Okay. And uh, uh, fuck, we, I guess you could probably go get them tomorrow. I just want to throw them in the ocean. <laughs> Why I, would you do that? Well, because I I'm a uh, I just moved to the island, and I'm a uh, hardcore GOP Republican. And so I get tired of these people talking about climate change, this climate change, that rising sea levels. So what I want to do, I'm trying to collect as much junk as I can and throw it into the harbor. And I'm gonna be like, oh, you really want to see the sea levels rise? Watch this. And like, I threw three car batteries in there last week. Oh, nice. Yeah, I tricked these these young kids. They were doing science, and there I was like, listen, we take these old batteries that won't charge anymore, you know, and we take them, we put them in the ocean with the salt water, and I was like, the kinetics with the waves. As it recharges the batteries, and then we can reuse them later. But actually, they were just leaking all over. Yeah, it yeah. works. Yeah, I had a I had a barrel yep. I had a barrel of uh, of old motor oil, you know, one of those those fifty five gallon drums. I didn't seal it very well. I just put saran wrap around the top, and I rolled that in. That works too. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's it's not. I'm going back to the mainland before long, so I don't care what happens around here. Well, yeah. That's I can see that. Yeah, yeah. I threw things in the volcano to try nice. to to try to anger the gods. I'm going to take uh, the lava rock back to the mainland. That'll piss them off. Maybe. I don't know. They're gods. I don't. I don't know if you could piss off gods other than having other gods. Well, I mean, I also I I profess false prophecies. I tell them I'm a god. I'm. I tell people I'm God. 
Well, you might be. You never know. Well, I mean, I, I think I would know, but I just, I'm just like, hey, I'm God, and, you know, I'm going to piss them off. Yeah, but if they don't know, you know, no harm, no foul, right? Do you, do you, hey, am I a God? Do you worship me? Not yet, but you're selling me, you know. Okay. Can I, can I put my wife, my wife on? Because uh, she says I'm being a little much. Okay. Hang on. I'm going to, I'm going to give her the phone. My name is Savannah. Hey. Hello. 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 Hello there. Are you stroking it? No. Okay. Hey. Okay. Yeah, I haven't. I, 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 you haven't gotten that excited. You slather me in cream corn. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was all environmental. Well, I me and cream corn and um, put jumper cables on my nipples. There you go. Sounds a little painful, not quite biting. Maybe you on your piercings on your nipples, but damn, that just sounds a little fucking out. You know, just but weird stuff. There you go. Whatever floats yeah, your boat, man. Credit. There you go. People say Fucking do your me thing. All the time. Yeah. Eat me and that sounds like me. fun. <laughs> I haven't had a fucking call like this in quite a while. Dick like a fidget spinner. Yeah. Well, if you're light enough, I guess. I am. Yeah. Eat me and digest me, and then poop me out. That sounds like fun. Cream. Come, credit score. But you know what? You got everything. I hope so. From the whole. I'm touching myself. But it's not Paris. I'm smelling it. It's not. It's not Paris though that you're getting the info for. Really? I'm not. Yeah, I'm not that person. I don't know who the fuck that person is. Shoes. Shoes. <laughs> shoes. I don't wear shoes. Mm hmm. Cream. Come. Credit score. Oh, yeah. Definitely. You working on my. Are you working on my credit score? Definitely. I got it. Well, I'm not Paris. Uh, hello? Mm-hmm. Cool. And wet. Did you get it? I'm smelling it. Mm, yes. Nice. Have fun with it. Put it in my butt. Oh, he finally left. Oh. Gotta get a little, little Savannah in there. 